Hey guys, and welcome to my blog skis. It's been a while. It's been a while, but I'm back. I'm back like COVID. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. No, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back like the Pandizi. Anyway, I am here at my favorite place in the whole wide world. Um, Shlanga Rocks Drive. I'm here to chill on the beach. It's about um, half past nine a.m. Uh, I just left Starbucks because your girl needed a iced latte and they were so kind. They said I was pretty. Um, they gave me free caramel pumps. <laughs> I don't like sugar But it was free And um, the ice latte is really delicious um, So what am I going to do now So now I'm going to go take my things Set myself up on the beach Hang out I packed this hat And I don't know It just doesn't flop Like in the in a nice floppery flop way If that makes sense But it is what it is It's whatever um, I like the fact that, look, it really did block out the sun. Like, it really, really did block out the sun. I've got a beautiful uh, bikini on. Did I show you my bikini, this bikini on the last vlog? I think I did. Um, yeah, so let's go sit up on the beach. Um, I'm going to hang out. Ume is at home cleaning. I'm so happy because my house is a mess. And this week, I was just like, I'm not cleaning anything at all. So she's got a lot of work to do. Um, and what else am I doing? I am also, I've cooked already at home. She just needs to make me some pap. I asked her to make me pap. Because I don't know how to make pap. I think this year I need to learn how to make pap. Anyway, yes, let's go have some fun on the beach. pizza um i even made my own dough i know the shape is suspicious and the thickness is very suspicious but i don't have a rolling pin um and i want it to be a little bit rustic <laughs> wish me luck y'all because i don't know i don't know all right here it goes 220 Oh my god. Alright, now I'm gonna have some wine. 
open up some wine. This is one of my favorite white wines. Um, it is Arensig Sauvignon Blanc. Um, it tastes like a red, but it's a white. And now I'm gonna clean up while I have my bottle of wine. I have an OG wine opener. I live and die by this. This has actually been here since I've moved into my house. Um, which makes it even more special. Alright, first you use the knife to scrape the wax off. Put that away. Then you use this corkscrew. I like to first put the corkscrew in. And then I use this back part. I hope you can see. I use this back part to kind of like secure it onto the neck of the bottle. Over, over here. Okay, so. So now that that part is in, you just lift the cork. Whoa, that's not secure. Oh, you lift the cork. That was so messy. Okay, I took all of that off. <laughs> but you just lift the cork using that support. Then you obviously need a nice big glass. Look, I don't have a difference between white and red glasses. I just bought these huge red glasses and I use them for both. So when you drink wine, you obviously don't want to pour too much. You want just enough. And then this is going to go back in the fridge to chill. I'm just going to put my little stopper so that it doesn't get contaminated. I don't know if I'm meant to close this now or later, but I'm going to close it because I just don't like fridge taste in my wine. And yeah. Uh, how do you say? Saud, chin chin, cheers whatever <laughs> all right so i'm gonna leave you here i'm gonna clean up and i'm gonna come back when my pizza is ready i hope this is gonna go well okay guys um <laughs> this is my pizza i think the recipe i followed was probably not a conviction oven so they told me 230 degrees. I think I should have had it at 200 degrees. So I did not leave it for 20 minutes. I actually left it for about 15 minutes. And I'm just like bummed. But let's do a cut test. I don't have a pizza cutter. Hence I'm using a knife. And I'm going to have squares instead of triangles. The bread seems pretty easy to cut through and you can hear the crunching. All right, so I've got a beautiful crust here and it looks pretty like, it looks good, it's cooked, it's cooked. Um, I have mushrooms and salami. Um, and as you can see, it is pretty cooked well i've made this fresh chili and oh damn it is close tight oh. mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. wow <laughs> oh oh that was hot I'm, I have a cute little chili bush in my patio. So I've made this um, fresh chili, garlic, fresh garlic, and olive oil, extra virgin olive oil uh, puree. I have it with literally everything. So I'm just gonna put some on my pizza. And some here on the side. Let's do a taste. Taste. 
Mm. Okay. Taste. That tastes delicious. That tastes delicious. The only thing I wish it was thinner. I'm a thin base girl. I can actually pass off as like a focaccia. Um, very yummy. So I'm gonna go sit. Okay, I'm watching some Netflix. I'm gonna have two slices of that pizza. That's actually a really good pizza. Wow. I'm actually quite happy with that. Hey guys, and welcome to my Sunday. Uh, I thought I would do a quick life update um, while I do my Sunday morning skincare routine. I literally just got out the shower and um, I thought, let me do a little skincare today. Well, I do skincare every day, but let me do a little skincare and life update. I don't know what's going on with my lighting. Like I said, I just got out the shower and I've just put on this um, Essence lip oil. The best thing since sliced bread. Uh, I also just made a cappuccino. It's almost done. And yeah, let's start. We're going to do face and a little bit of hair care. So I'm just going to go in with my Grace and Gina's toner. This is the toner that my sister makes for her own skincare range. I absolutely love this toner. I don't talk about it enough. I really, really like it. <laughs> I really, really love it. Not even like. I use this on my skin, on my face, and on my hair. Um, yeah, so I really like that. I also shaved my arm. Put, I'm actually going to put some just to moisturize and soothe my arm. Pits, my underarms. Armpits sound so like, um, what's the word? Vulgar. All right, so I put in a couple of layers of that. This is a beautiful toner. Um, it's made out of rose water that you can actually afford to put more than one layer. And you will literally see your skin glow because of that niacinamide, that rose water extract, the panthenol, and tons of hyaluronic acid. I'm just going to go in with the Switch Beauty. The Switch Beauty Seeker Gel. Um, it is a soothing and anti-blemish serum. Um, I'm currently on retinol again, and it's called Epidu. It's retinol and um, benzoyl peroxide for my um, my bacterial folliculitis. The Switch Beauty uh, Seeker Gel is literally such a huge lifesaver when it comes to soothing my irritated skin. The last thing I'm going to go with is this Switch Beauty um, water gel. This gel, when you have dehydrated, lackluster skin, is absolutely amazing. So, yeah, um, guys, I haven't posted a vlog in about three weeks. Um, and the reason why I have not put a vlog up is because um, almost three weeks ago, I met with an accident. Uh, I had a motor vehicle accident that was extremely traumatic for me and um, had a bit of an impact on my psyche um, because it was obviously a motor vehicle accident. One, two, it did um, kind of like shock me back into reality that if I was not um, careful enough or well, even more careful than what i already was and if my guardian angels went by my side then i don't know if i would be sitting here right now i just wanted to internalize all those emotions and all those feelings um alone and then come back online and and vlog uh i do have a bit of content that has happened uh in between those periods that i did kind of sort of try to vlog my energy was a bit low during those periods so i don't know if i'm gonna if i'm going to um post that content or not because like again my energy is a bit low i don't know if you can see but my skin is looking nice and plump and juicy um this side of my face is obviously my favorite because it's so smooth okay i need to go and tweeze those hairs off or thread them off 
but it's so smooth and like very little texture and it's very plump and shiny this side is also still fine it is smooth um there is a bit of texture and lumps and bumps here but for the most part my skin looks really really good so yeah i've just been taking some time off to kind of like regroup my feelings and my emotions driving is just not the same for me right now i'm just putting my last generous spritz of that driving is just not the same for me right now and um and i've just been taking some time to kind of like do the things i need to do in order to feel better um my car is not okay it's gone <laughs> it is gone guys it is gone actually I'm take a sip of my coffee before i put this on um i had a little bit of cream from a dessert that i had that i put into my milk and the coffee yeah so the car's obviously been written off i'm waiting for insurance to kind of conclude everything and it is from there that i will know you know what to do next um in terms of work oh this is a two-piece i've never used this um face mask before i didn't know it was a two-piece damn so in terms of gym i've finally gotten back to gym um i took a, a small break i took like a week break um a week's long break and now i'm back at gym because i've just been finding that the amount of tension and anxiety that I was having after the accident was only being managed by gym. Like gym for me is not even a luxury any longer. It is literally my point of um, where I get my point of sanity, where I get my, 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 what's it called? Like my calibration issues sorted out. So I had to go back to gym like almost immediately. Batman! Is this Batman? No, this is Spider-Man. Whatever Batman sign is, this is me right now. Let me actually take a thumbnail. <laughs> All right, so now that the thumbnail is done, let's do the other half here. Like I was saying, um, I needed to get back to gym. I love my 5 a.m. crew. I don't know what happened to my camera right now, but yeah. Anyway, um, what did I want to say to you? Always bring your extra serum that is usually at the bottom of these to your chest and your neck look at my skin oh and i hope you guys put sunscreen on your on your bodies when you go to the beach and when you are like just driving and doing your running your errands because your neck and your hands will always give away your true age um in terms of food eating much much better cooking more i'm so happy that i'm cooking much much more um and yeah man just kind of like vibing out um been meeting up with certain friends that i told that i had the accident too now everybody knows uh i'm fine i promise i'm fine the people who needed to know know and the people who now know well now you know i'm just gonna do a little bit of hair care um this is my sister's beard boosting uh oil i use this on my hair because i mean a beard is hair and your head has a scalp and i feel like this oil really does help moisturize hydrate my scalp i know there's a whole bunch of like discourse on twitter about whether we should be oiling our scalps or not and honestly speaking i'm going to carry on doing it i've been oiling my scalp for years and years and years and i find that it really does help so when someone tells you to do something and you find that it doesn't work for you don't do what they say don't carry on like do what you want to do you know what i mean like if someone says no you should not be doing this or you should or guys i have this I, or you ask people for advice and they tell you to do this and they say that that is the only way you can ever do it don't listen to that person like there's no need for you to do that anyway <coughs> <coughs> oh my god do what you want to do do it for you and do it like passionately and wholeheartedly and and keep it moving guys like honestly i'm not here to tell you what to do and what to say how to behave and how to react so yeah been cooking more been chilling at the beach more on my own i thrive chilling at the beach on my own because i have so many little traditions 
that I do at the beach on my own. I am also um, journaling much more. I found that like because I didn't tell a lot of people about my accident, I had a lot of emotions. Uh, emotions also related to myself being very critical of the fact that I made a mistake and I don't know how to forgive myself when I've made a mistake. I don't know if you guys are like that as well, but I'm very critical of myself and um, now I'm just trying to like talk myself out of the fact that mistakes don't define my character. Mistakes kind of like define a a moment in my life, but it doesn't mean that Whitney is any different or any worse or any, like I'm not a bad person. It's just a bad thing happened to me, you know? Um, yeah, so um, there's that. Guys, I stay decluttering people. Oh my word. I stay decluttering people. I stay decluttering people that drain and suck my energy dry oh my word i'm almost 33 in june and i've just found that like the minute i pick up on a red flag or red flag energies guys i i trim hey not even trim i cut yeah i cut i cut i cut i can't i can't i'm old I'm so, I'm so old, like I just can't, like I really, 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 really can't. Okay, I think the scent of the day that I'm going to go with is my, my signature scent. I've been using this scent for about four or five years now. It is Mancera Roses Vanille. It is um, a niche perfume from uh, France and it smells like roses and vanilla and a little bit of chocolate um, and oud. Um, it's one of my favorite scents to use. It's a very edible um, scent. And I, I love using this when I want to feel strong, sexy, confident, powerful. And um, also when I want to remember extremely nostalgic moments because a lot of beautiful memories have come from me smelling like this. I love it. And I think just to add a little bit of excitement into that scent, not that it needs any help, but I've been also learning how to layer scents and <laughs> it is this Kayali um, Sweet Diamond Pepper Pink number 25. I got it in a sample because um, I wanted to make sure I really liked it. It was a very expensive sample or, or baby size, travel size. It was about 480 freaking Rands. Oh, inflation has got me messed up. It also smells like um, a very spicy, sweet but spicy, peppery um, scent with a little bit of jasmine. Um, ugh, it's, it's delicious. And I found that when I layer it on a base, a heavy base uh, fragrance, it takes it to a new level. And also because of that, when you're walking around and people are smelling, they're like, what is that? And you just tell them one of your scents. They will go and buy it, but they don't smell like you because they don't have the entire sauce. Get with the program, y'all. Don't be telling people your the essence of you and who you truly are. Snap. Like, you know, keep some things for yourself. <laughs> About keeping some things for myself, I've also kind of like drawn back or pulled back from telling people a lot of things on my social media when it comes to what I'm buying, where I'm shopping, um, especially when it comes to the things that become uh, or make the essence of me. I know, I know, hold on, I need to go and get my face cream. But, um, okay, so I'm just going to be topping everything off with the La Roche-Posay AP uh, Plus M Lipica Balm. I love this um this this moisturizer literally for eczema for babies for bum rash for waxing uh scratches for anything that comes um that comes about with irritation and things like that it's such a good 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 um moisturizer the rush Posay is goaded um i'm not gonna be wearing any sunscreen today because my my skin is like I said, it's a little bit irritated. So, um, yeah, I'm just like scaling back a little bit on telling people um, like all the little things that I do for myself, all the little things that bring me joy. 
um i know that um that is what influencing or social media is about but i also was finding that people were like coming into my dms and demanding demanding to know where did i buy this how much was it when did i go there um what size is it and not even like greeting not even saying hello like who are you like why are you so like primal why are you not saying hello to me like i i don't even get paid for this i don't get monetized for any of these things and people just kind of like have that um entitlement to my to all of my um my information and it was kind of like taking the joy away from what i do um i definitely love the people that have been coming into my dms and saying yo whitney we haven't had a vlog in a while I totally appreciate every single one of you that has been, you know, asking for a uh, an updated vlog. I totally appreciate you. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. But for the other people that have been like demanding uh, information, demanding where I buy this, how much, without saying hello, like get your manners in check, please. Thanks. Um, yeah, so that brings me to the end of my life update. Um everything else is kind of like still where it's at um not dating <laughs> i'm still not dating um I've been going on several dates but honestly they've been so so uninspiring and like not going anywhere i'll tell you a very quick story time i had this guy dm me like a year ago and he was just like trying to get into my uh space and don't don't also don't neglect or don't overlook people that drain your energy and that kind of like want to um uh by the virtue of association um associate by the virtue of association association try to force to be with you like there are people like that boys girls everybody family they you can just pick up like people just like there's, there's clout when they want to hang out with you yeah i've been going through a lot of that like in the years before i didn't listen to that in that intuition and pick up those red flags but now now that i'm like my emotional radars are on fleek ha me i pick it up so fast anyway so he puts in so much effort to kind of like get to know me and take me out and everything we went on a day on saturday went on a day on sunday so on sunday the date like the weekend was amazing um also i do not get like carnal when i meet with people so i don't kiss them i don't <whistles> with them i wait because i feel like the minute you do that it complicates a lot of things so keep keep that out if you can also not drink in front of them perfect do not do it do not do it boys and girls so yeah we didn't do that and then um on sunday i spoke to my sister about him on saturday morning on the saturday afternoon after the first half of our date and she was like he's a bit he's significantly older than me also watch out for those ones um and she was like, no, just ask him, like, what is he, his intentions are and, like, be sure to ask whether he wants to be married again and whether he wants to have kids. And I did that. And he's like, yeah, no, I definitely want to get married again because he's divorcee and he's, he's like, I definitely want to have kids, like, some more kids. And I was like, oh, great. And then I was like, so are you single? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> he's like, actually, no, I'm not single. I'm seeing somebody. I'm like, what the freak am I doing here? Like, why am I here? why why would you put in so much energy and effort to court me when you've spoken for or you're speaking for somebody out like okay after that and i obviously like my mood and my energy just changed after that uh he's like so when am i gonna when when are you gonna grace your presence uh when are you gonna grace your presence with me or to me i don't know like he was trying that shakespeare shit and i was just like i was tapped out and i was like never i'm never gonna see you again he's like oh i'm like no i'm never gonna see you again i know i'm sitting at home but i'm actually just gonna put on some earrings just to like vibe out guys romanticize your life hey please put perfume on and makeup on and earrings on when you're chilling even at home 
put a little cute uh, a little cute outfit loungewear on do the things girl shit romanticize your life date yourself um yeah he, i was like not nah, never he's like why i'm like because you are taken homie i'm not gonna be spending time in a car that has another owner who does that who does that you're not avis and i'm not trying to hire a car out damn i want to buy my own car <sighs> i left so quickly guys i left so quickly this brings me to the end of my skincare and my home care. As you can see, I'm glowing. I'm glistening. I'm going to watch some uh, YouTube uh, crime investigation channels. I'm obsessed with that right now. And I'll bring this vlog to the end of everything. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support in my DMs and, and the comments. Road to 1000 is still happening. I love you guys all so much. And um, don't forget to be beautiful inside and out. But mostly on the inside. Because this world needs love. Bye.